okay? So anyway, I'm going to be starting off making a really simple operating system. So, so first I just like to explain the concepts, which is that the computer turns on and it chooses a selection of devices from the master boot record and for example like a CD is in it's like it it realizes that it has a boot sector okay which is just like a boot it's bootable okay so say you put in a CD and it reads off the CD okay and then it starts off the CD file which is the boot file and the, the boot file is called the bootloader okay and right now I'm just making a simple bootloader because technically that's the start of all operating systems okay so let's start this off okay first if you know anything about operating systems or assembly well this isn't where you started off at actually but you know where I'm going okay you know where I'm going yeah sorry okay so first you tell it to be 16 bits then we declare to our compiler what we want okay oh yeah by the way I forgot to say um before you do this video you need NASM okay you need download I'll put it on my description if you want um you also need VMware or some emulator I prefer VMware Quimo works just fine if you know about it Q is what it's called um yeah Windows has its own little thing I think it's called like something VDH I don't know whatever <laughs> but anyway so, so let's start. Okay. So now, first you have to know is that a bootloader is 512 bytes exact. So what we do is we set it to do this little thing, which fills up the bootloader with all the remaining bytes. Okay. All the bytes that it needs to fill up, you know, 512. Okay. And then over here we have our let's see it's okay over here we have our little signature which shows to the boot record that oh my god this is an operating system file and this is a boot file okay so it's like oh my god I wonder is this file a boot file oh no it's not it doesn't have a little signature yes no it's not like I'm talking like an idiot but you must understand and actually you probably don't okay whatever <laughs> anyway so this is the most simple thing you could possibly make. Literally, it's a black screen. Okay? So, first you do is you just, let's just jump to start. Okay? And here's our start procedure. And guess what it does? It jumps back to start. So, think of it like this. Just hangs up. Okay? So, anyway, now we start NASM. Okay? And first, let's just... Go, go to your directory. For example, I have this thing. Okay, so, you know, go to NASM. And you do F, which is output format. And for our purposes, a bin works just fine. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it will work with. Um, our input file, start.asm. And then our output file, which we want to be a floppy disk. To show for, to show the operating system that's a floppy disk, we do start dot hinge img whatever. Okay. Oh my God, it worked. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I was gonna put in some music. I hope you don't mind. Okay, guys. So let's try now. Couldn't focus with that. Okay. So. Now you start up a little virtual box. VMware, whatever. I use virtual box. Okay. Now you create your own operating system and for the purpose of this video I might as well show you how you do it. So new Okay, let's do this. So it doesn't really matter what you choose here, but I'm just gonna choose whatever I want to choose. Okay. We shall call it the OS. Now you don't really need really anything on here because I'm not really using much. You know, like later on if I show you like how to do commands and stuff, you know, then yeah, pretty much all I gotta do. Continue. Okay. 
Yep. Put this low. Here, go make it small. Create that thing. Okay. There it is, the OS. Now we have to attach a floppy disk to it. So, let's go to storage. And let's add ourselves a floppy disk. Okay, virtual floppy disk. Let's choose it. We have our image file. We just made it. There it is. Okay, select your output file that was a dot image file, um, you know, dot image format. And click OK. And if it all goes right, then when you start it up, just okay. When you start it up, it should just be a black screen. Say running. Oh, it works. Okay, now that wasn't too particularly amazing. However, it's a start. Okay, it's a start. Okay, so now let's just start. For example, every computer, not every computer, but the computers that most people use have BIOS on them. And BIOS is for doing basic operations, you know, in and out operations, I.O. Okay, so uh, operating system bootloaders just interactive BIOS, that way they can boot up their own little operating system. So our bootloader is going to call um, a function, okay? It's going to call, I mean, an interrupt to BIOS. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, first let's do our string. We shall call it the string. No, people don't like that little call it the string. That sounds good. sounds great. Okay, there it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Now what do we do? Let's print out our string. Okay, so let's go through this. First we jump to our print procedure, because that just sounds more right. You know what you know where I'm going. You know where you know where I'm blowing, you know where I'm rolling, no you don't? Okay. So anyway, we load this thing. Okay, if you'd like to know, LOD SB moves the string from you know it's like it moves the pointer okay so here let me just move it to the pointer so let's move it Ooh, I forgot that. Okay. we shall call it cat okay move it to the si cat okay so now we move it to the pointer and then lod sb moves the first character of the pointer to, to the cat string into um, moves it into the AH register which is what we need for BIOS because BIOS accepts two functions for character output on a screen so what we do is first we always have to check see we, I put the zero here for a reason to make sure that I knew it was the end of the string okay so what we do is we compare um, AH and zero. If AH is zero, it means we've reached the end. So we just jump to hang. Let's make that. Here's our hang procedure. And we jump back. Okay, there we go. So now if we know that we haven't reached the end of the string yet, then we need to print it out. So what we do is we move to AL. I think it's O. I think it's OE. I'm pretty sure. And then we do 10H. That's our interrupt sequence. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> there's a lot of code here. How about we go through this? Okay. So first we declare 16 bits to our NASM compiler. We tell it the type. Okay. Then we jump to our print string thing. Oh, and that's not right. We have to do this before. Okay. Okay, there we go. So first we move our string that we want to print to the SI pointer. Um, then we start printing it out. Then we load it. We load the string into AH. 
we compare AH with zero, and then we jump to hang if we got it wrong. I mean, <laughs> if we get to the end. Okay. Then, if we don't reach the end, we know that, you know, we know that, like, we're on, we're still on the string. We're still trying to print it out. So then, we move to what type we want to do. So, we want to do OE, which is for BIOS's print string. And we move that to our AL register as an argument. And then we call the function, and the function this time is 10H, which has many purposes, I'll tell you that much. But anyway, that's what we do. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now we just got to make sure that we jump back to print string. So that way it all works. Because that way it prints it out. It's not just one character prints out the whole entire thing. That's what we want. So there we go. I might get some errors here. I'll just do it. Okay. Oh, well, we got it good. Okay. Now let's start it up. Mm -hmm. All goes well. It should do the SDR. Oh, okay. I think I know what happened. Um. Okay. I think it was this. I think we do AL. This page. Oh, okay, right now. I'm oh, sorry, guys, I'm a little rusty at my assembly. But, you know. Oh, it worked. Okay, guys, there you go. So that was an extremely freaking simple operating system. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, how the hell did Windows manage to create jack shit? Well, I'll tell you how they did it. What they did is they used a bootloader. Okay, that's a little model here. I'm sure you guys would love this. Okay, bootloader. Bootloader starts up our operating system. Now you're probably wondering, well, how the hell does it do that? Well, it's a little complicated, but basically what it does is usually they're in C++. So the operating system has a main function or a main procedure. So basically it sets all the values and then it jumps into the main procedure. To, so basically it doesn't do the whole entire thing in assembly. That actually wasn't crazy talk a while ago. That's what you're wondering. They used to do that in the 60s and 80s and yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now it's C++. That's the thing. So they jump into the C++ main procedure, and they're good. Okay, there you go, guys. I hope you liked that. And Noah K here signing off. Goodbye.